Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Bella for those who are new. Today's video, I thought I'd just do a little like reading wrap up on all the books that I've read in October and in November. Because usually I only read about five books a month. So I just thought I'd do these videos every second month instead of every month because every month they tend to be a little bit on the shorter side. So I thought it'd just be interesting to do it every second month so I have more books to talk about. I record all the books I read and like my TBR on Notion. I've got a little like thing called Bella's Books and it's got like my TBRs and then the what I read in a month and like my thoughts and everything so I record it all here. So the first book I read in October was The American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas. She is the author of The Spanish Love Deception which was really popular on BookTok and I, I read The Spanish Love Deception last year and I really liked it so I had to get the, her second book. This book is about Rosie and Lucas. Rosie is Lena's best friend so Lena was the the main female character in Spanish Love Deception. So Rosie is Lena's best friend and Lucas is Lena's cousin. So in this book Rosie, um, something happens to her apartment so she moves into Lena's apartment while Lena's on her honeymoon with Aaron Blackford of course. What she doesn't know is that Lucas was promised that apartment by Lena because he's coming to travel to America so they end up sharing an apartment together they end up becoming roommates i did enjoy this book i did find it really hard to actually get into though which may just be a personal thing I gave it a four stars so it was good i definitely like the spanish love deception a lot more than this book but this book was definitely a good one and i just think the covers are so cute i love the cartoon covers i think they're just so cute the next book i read was on my kindle so i read destroy me which is the first novella in the shadow me series so you have shadow me and then you read destroy me which is the first novella and that book you basically just get another character's point of view of like what happens after shadow me i don't really remember i remember that it took me actually a long time to get through even though it was like only 100 pages yeah it took me a month to read it um, um, I gave it a three stars, which I feel like is a fair rating for a novella, like it was only 100 pages, but I did enjoy it. It was interesting getting in the mind of a different character, because you've sort of been with Juliet the whole time, and just finding out about different characters was really interesting, I did enjoy that. The next book, I listen to. I've been really getting to my audiobooks recently. I listened to The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I absolutely ate this book up. I loved it. Oh, it was so good. I gave this book a five stars because I couldn't like stop listening to it. I was obsessed. It was so good. It's about Nathan and Brie. They've been best friends since high school. Nathan is a professional football player, American football player, and Brie is a ballet teacher. It's the one of us is famous trope and it's got fake dating. So one day, I don't know, something happens. They go to a bar and someone, I don't know, but they have to, they end up famous dating for the press but you get them you get the dual, dual point of view so you get to see how like they like each other but it's so annoying because you're like you like it you like each other but why can't you just tell each other it's so frustrating you get from Bree's point of view like Bree loves him more than a friend and then you get from Nathan's point of view that Nathan does and you're like just get together already I loved Nathan I was obsessed with him that book was the most perfect thing I, I need the physical copy of it I love that book so much Five stars definitely go read it it's like more of a cutesy romance that i really i loved that book. like my top read of october the next book i read i actually did a reading vlog on this so i read love of the words by christina lauren this is my first christina lauren book that i've ever read if you want to see like my raw reactions of reading it um go watch my reading vlog that i did last month i gave this book five stars i liked it i don't feel like i'm as obsessed with it as other people are but it will I did enjoy it. It was a good book. I tabbed it all. Um, so this book is about Macy and Elliot who were childhood best friends and then one day something happens and they like grow apart and live their own lives and they don't see each other for I think it's like 13 years or something. Then one day they bump into each other and you sort of see them like they come back together and fall back in love. It, the whole time you're wondering what happened in the past. It caused them to break away from each other. It's told in like, alternating timelines, so you get then and now perspective. So you see them being childhood best friends when they were younger, and then you see their current life when they like bump into each other again, and suddenly, like they're becoming friends again and reforming their friendship. I usually am not the biggest fan of the whole then and now format of books. I don't know. I just find that the past storylines get a little bit 
boring or just, I don't know, repetitive for me. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, the only two books that I did like it in was this one and Before We Were Strangers. I love that book. So I definitely enjoyed that Then and Now format more than I enjoyed any other Then and Now format. I just, I really like this book. And I think my cover's so cute. Originally, I I actually purchased the orange cover on Amazon, but this one turned up at the beginning. I was like, what? I want the orange cover. Uh, I've got this cover, so. I've sort of, it's grown on me. I kind of like it. I like the pink. I just, I think it's cute. And the last book that I read in October was, this was a very spontaneous read for me. It was sort of like one day I picked it up and was like, okay. I read The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren, which is funny. I just realized I read two Christina Lauren books in October. This book was such a spur of the moment thing, but I loved it. I read it in like two days. <laughs> All the books I've shown you have not been that fast of a read. Like I read The American Roommate Experiment in a month. I read things in a month. This one took me like a week and a half. But this one I read in two days. Obsessed with this. I don't know if it was just different or because I wasn't planning to read it or I don't know, but I loved this book. This book is basically about, so it's about River and, about River and Jess. Jess is a single mother. River is a DNA scientist type of thing. And basically, they both go to the same coffee shop. And then one day, she hears about this, this new, like, dating app sort of thing called Genetically, which it's not like your typical dating app. It's like they take a swab of your DNA and they can find your perfect soulmate. So then she and her best friend do this dating app and she gets her results back and finds out that River is her perfect match like their dna is basically their soulmates and because it's river's company that made this they propose that they should fake date just for like publicity and everything i really love this book everything about it was so good romance was great and then i loved her kid her kid was amazing and how everything like him with her kid mm so perfect. This is like my favourite book of October. I'm really happy I picked it up because it's been sitting on my bookshelf for like a year and I just picked it up on a whim and I'm so happy I did because I love this book. Honestly I will recommend this to anyone I see. And there is a bonus epilogue which not in this book in there's like I think it's the American paperback version. I definitely need to read the bonus epilogue. So those are all the books I read in October and then there were I read I read six books in November. So the first book that I read in November was The Upside of Falling. I actually listened to this on audiobook as well and I've actually been listening to the book this book for like three months. It, it was not not a vibe for me. I was not a fan. I didn't like it but I finally finished it. I gave it a three stars because in the end I did sort of enjoy it but I don't know if it was just the audiobook that I didn't like or it was kind of it was funny listening to the audiobook actually because when the the male narrator tried to do like the female voices it sounded like you know in like Jumanji when Jack Black is Bethany's avatar distracting guys is like the main thing I do it sounded like that voice and it was so funny to me this book is about Brett what's her name give me a minute it's about Brett and Becca Brett is on the football team again and Becca's just like this bookworm. She sort of doesn't have any friends. She's a bit of a loner. One day, I don't know, they just sort of randomly kiss in the hallway. So from there, they sort of start fake dating. And you get a hold of that. It's it's very much high school romance. Like, it's, a, it's definitely a YA book. I didn't... I, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's probably my least favourite book that I read in November. To me, it sounded a lot like... The cheat sheet if the cheat sheet was set when they're in high school yeah but i only gave that three stars so not my favorite book of this the last month okay the next book i read was harry potter and the philosopher's stone um i've never actually read all the harry potter books Ooh, so i read this the first one and i read the second one on, I read the second one on my Kindle because we couldn't actually find the paperback in the house. But I've seen the movies a lot and I know I just felt like I needed to read the books because my people keep teasing me about not reading the books. So I did. I read the first two and I'm currently halfway through The Prisoner of Azkaban. 
I did I did really enjoy these. The first two are like really short. They're only like 200 and something pages each. And I did enjoy that. I gave them both five stars because I feel like it's just blasphemy to not give a Harry Potter book five stars. I think you could definitely see the differences between the books and the movies. I have read The Goblet of Fire so it was really interesting to I don't know go back and read these. They're quite fast paced. So I feel like the movies, I don't know, it was quite fast paced, like the ending with Voldemort and stuff went really quickly. Like it was a chat, well, it was like a page and then it was done. Where in the movie I feel like it's a lot more dragged out. And that was the same for the Chamber of Secrets. And for those who don't know what this is about, it's basically about um, Harry Potter who one day he finds out that he's a wizard and he gets taken Hogwarts which is a school for wizards and witches. But he makes friends there and you know, you find out a lot about his past and stuff so that's what it's about basically. I don't know if you don't know what Harry Potter's about then like and then on audiobook I listened to the second and the third book in the Summer Return Pretty series. I read the first book earlier this year before the show came out because I just wanted to read it before the show came out and I was not the biggest fan of of the book. Like I thought it was a little bit I don't know I just I guess because it had a lot of the like then and now perspective which I'm not a big fan of especially in that book and I just found it a little bit boring and tedious and like repetitive. Summer vibes were right but I definitely enjoyed the second to a lot more. The second one I gave a four stars and then the third one I gave a five stars and I don't know if it's because I was listening to them but I loved listening to them and it was just so much more of an enjoyable experience than reading the book so I'm really glad that I did listen to them instead of reading them. For those who don't know what Summer Return Pretty is about, it's about Belly who every summer she and her family go and stay at this beach house in Cousins Beach with her mother's best friend Susanna and Susanna's two sons. And it's sort of a love triangle between Belly and the two sons, Jeremiah and Conrad. And it's very summery vibes and it's 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 YA, it's by Jenny Hunt, the same author who wrote To All the Boys I Loved Before. But as the books went on, I did enjoy the later books much more and I gave the last one five stars because I loved that book. But it's a lot of like, who's she gonna end up with, love triangle, which brother... Honestly, I really loved the last two books. Like for the last book, this is everything I wrote. It was so good. The last book that I read in November was Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I've never actually read an Emily Henry book before. I have all of her books. I've got Beach Read, Book Lovers and You and Me on Vacation, which I'm saving those for summer. But this one, I thought I'd just pick up and read. I don't know why. It was, again, completely spontaneous. I'm glad I did. I did enjoy it. I gave it a four stars. It was up there but it wasn't like five star material. Like I did like it and I like the little romance and the like small town vibes. This one's about Nora and Charlie. Charlie is a book editor and Nora is a literary agent and basically in the in the like prologue, is it called a prologue? Yeah in the prologue they meet and they sort of don't like each other. Then later on the book she and her sister go to a small town on holiday and Charlie's there and then they sort of like like team up together and start doing books together and kind of becoming more friendly but yeah it's small town romance it's it's great I love the small town romance like I've heard a lot of people say about like the big sister sort of stuff which you do get a lot of that in here like the whole and I did I did like that part I like how cute the covers are though mm -hmm. so cute if you like um, Emily Henry's other books, definitely read this. Not that I would know because I've never read any of her other books. So those are all the books that I've read in October and November. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've gotten all the way to the end, thank you. I appreciate it so much. If you want to see my face again, feel free to subscribe. I try to post videos every week. It doesn't necessarily always happen that way. Um, but now in December, I'm trying to post more frequently. Look out for new videos. Um, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. Yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.